Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff. And a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for your contributions to my channel. Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In the previous video, we talked about determining heart rate on an EKG for regular rhythms. And there's two methods that we can do for regular rhythms. There's the 1500 method and the 300 method. If you want more detail on those, go back and watch that video. I'll try to remember to put a link to that in the description of this video. But when we have an irregular rhythm, all bets are off and we have to use a different method. And this method is sometimes called the six second method. We're gonna talk about how you do that in this video. Here's our EKG pattern right here. This is actually atrial fibrillation, which is pretty much 100% of the time irregular. Again, how do we tell if it's irregular? Well, we look at the distance between each of these peaks of the QRS complex. So each distance from peak to peak, this is the RR distance, right, or the RR interval. And we just look at that interval and we see, is each RR interval the same or are they inconsistent? Well, clearly these are all inconsistent because I can see a couple here that are pretty small and then this one's very large. If you wanted to be exact, you could take a few measurements of each of them, but you'd find pretty quickly that they're all inconsistent. And so because they're inconsistent or irregular, this is an irregular rhythm. And so with an irregular rhythm, we can't just do the 1500 method or the 300 method, because if we do that method at this interval, it's gonna be different when we do it at this interval and it'll be different at this interval right here. So you'll have a bunch of different heart rates because it's irregular. So what we have to do is we have to take a composite heart rate factoring in every single one of these RR intervals. Now before we do that, I just wanna prove something to you very quickly that may actually help conceptually when you're doing the six second method. So if we look at the entire length of this EKG strip, I promise you it's 150 small boxes. You can count it for yourself, uh, but what you'll find is that for big boxes, there's actually 30 of them. And then 30 times five would be 150 small boxes. The reason I mention that is because if you take 150 small boxes and multiply times 0.04 seconds, which is the time interval associated with each of the small boxes, you get six seconds. Remember, each small box is worth 0.04 seconds. So if there's 150 small boxes and each is worth 0.04 seconds, the entire length of this EKG strip is six seconds. So when we do the six second method, we're accounting for everything within this entire normal EKG strip. And to do the six second method, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count the number of QRS complexes, okay? There's no special cutoff that you have to do because the entire strip is defined as six seconds, okay? So I just count the total number of QRS complexes within this strip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 QRS complexes within this strip. And so the rule is my average heart rate over the course of the six seconds is given by the number of QRS complexes times 10, always times 10. So I have 10 QRS complexes. I multiply that by 10. So my average heart rate over this EKG strip is 100 beats per minute. You know, now you'll notice I said average heart rate. Why is it an average? Because each one of these RR intervals is going to have a different heart rate, right? It's irregular. So I have to take a composite or an average over the course of this entire six seconds. This is the method that you have to do when you have an irregular rhythm. You cannot use the 1500 method and you cannot use the 300 method. You have to use the six second method, okay? So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of how to do the six second method for calculating heart rate with an irregular rhythm. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.